hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking thank you for your likes those overwhelming comments negative positive always are welcome and by the way they have been coming these comments they have been coming like crazy 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 what have i done thank you my subscribers for always coming back to check on am carol for my new subscribers you are welcome but if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe hit on this notification bell so that every time i upload a new video you'll be the first one so talking about the comments guys i really really appreciate you guys who came in and tried to understand what i was trying to pull out for me actually this was just a whistle blow you know i just did like you know i haven't even said anything i have many people's complaints like people have complained to me i don't know why they reached out to me i don't go out reaching out to people because i don't know who they are watching i don't know these people from the audience but people have reached out to me you know telling me stuff that others want it to be publicized others don't want it to be publicized and i do respect people's privacy so that is the reason why i just have to come out here and talk i'm not stupid guys i'm not a stupid person to pull out my chair sit here and pull this camera and start talking to you about bullshit you know people are like you know trying to tell me stuff like oh you should go and ask for forgiveness oh you're spoiling and tarnishing people's names did i just wake up from nowhere and then i just said let me sit down here and start tarnishing someone's name you think I'm stupid to do that? When I come out here to start telling you people stuff, I have enough evidence that if someone can even decide to go out there and accuse me of anything, I have the receipts with me. I do have them. Just because I am respecting people's uh, privacy, not to put all the evidence out here, it doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm talking about. Some are even shocking for your information. Some information that I have is even shocking. And it's not that someone just called me and then I just decided that let me pull out this video. No, 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 no. I've been receiving this kind of complaints for some time now. And I remember my sister Modesta came out one time and she complained about David Jr. And people went bashing at her. At that time, I had some receipts. Then I kept it cool. I was like, let me watch this boy first and see how he'll be behaving. So the more I get more complaints, people write to me on my Instagram, on my Facebook. People will email me stuff and I'm like, wow. Sometimes people will e have emailed me telling me that they've been okay with David Jr. You know, it's not like David Jr. is a monster here. It's not like Uncle Mo and David Jr. are monsters that they're doing bad things out here. But there are some other things that they need to correct as they go on. Just because the people who are donating are donating to them, it doesn't mean that now they have to feel so, so much entitled. You know, as humble as they started, they have to finish it that way. I am not against anyone who is donating to Uncle Mo. I am not against anyone. You people, you are doing a great work. You can see where Uncle Mo has come from and where he is right now. It's great work that you people are doing. But there are some other complaints that are coming in. And this is why I am addressing those complaints. Because I've had people telling me that I've come out here to tarnish someone's name. I have not come out here to tarnish someone's name. I have not come out here because I feel jealousy. Because that's what people are telling me. You feel jealousy because now this boy has bought the car. Now you see. <laughs> the first video when I released it, I didn't know anything about David Junior having a car. I released this video and the following day I saw... Uh, my brother crooked traveler talking about it the following day after the video had been released already 
that I am jealous because these people have piece, big pieces of land. Uh, it cannot be compared to my to my small piece of land. <laughs> you people, you make me laugh. You see, I go through the 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 comments. I'll be going through the comments and I'll be just laughing. You cannot say that just because someone else has a big piece of land, you, you cannot compare that with a small land. See, land has value depending on where that land is. Okay? I can have a small piece of land like this, but it has big value more than that uh, big land in the village. The kind of land I have, which is not even one, which is not even two, which is not even three pieces of lands that I have. They are of very high value. Don't start comparing things here and start telling me that I'm feeling a uh, jealousy because uh, these people, they have land I don't have. <laughs> you people, you're kidding me. Those who are trying to compare my thing, just because I showed you one piece of land where, I, uh, where I'm residing, now you think that this is all I have. You cannot compare someone who is driving a Mercedes-Benz in America with someone who is driving a second-hand Mercedes in Kenya. They are all Mercedes-Benz, but their value is different. You cannot come out here and start telling me that, oh, now, you see, even Mayuguno has gotten his piece of land, and you are there sitting talking. You think I don't know anything about land. You think I can be in construction for these years that I've been in construction without knowing anything about land. I don't buy cheap land. I buy land where I construct. I buy land where I invest in and get back my money. I don't buy land because I lack somewhere to stay. Those people have been like comparing me to Mayuguno. I've, re I've been reading your comments. Now you see your jealousy, even Mayuguno has gotten his own land. How can you start comparing me with someone who's been a street boy? <laughs> this boy is too happy. Leave Mayuguna alone. Leave our Rindima, Rindima for the land. Leave him alone. This boy has suffered enough. Stop mixing and, you know, you people sometimes will be coming here to, you know, to be colliding people's heads. This boy has just gotten his own piece of land. And he's happy. In fact, I congratulate him. Congratulations, my Rindima, my Yuguno, for getting that piece of land. It is everything for him. That is everything for him. Someone who has never had a family before in his life. Someone who has never had anything that he calls it's his own. How can you start comparing that kind of person with someone who has gotten pieces of land and invested? Come on, guys. Stop it. Stop it. Stop this whole mess. See, I pulled what I pulled out here because I know that that is the truth. And I stand with my truth because I have all the evidence. And just because I've not brought all the evidence here because I am keeping some people's privacy. It doesn't mean that you have to start judging it. I'm not stupid to sit on, on this chair and start talking to you about someone. And where is he? He should come out and say this is what happened because when that price of that toilet was being changed he was there so he should come out and tell us someone will be coming oh i thank god now at least ankomo has returned the money there is nothing wrong with ankomo returning the money see it's just like maybe i was doing something secretly and and i didn't want anyone to know and then it happens that someone has known what is happening the anger, the anger, the reaction in Ankomo. I was like, wow. These people didn't want anyone to know what they were doing, definitely. Ankomo was right all along until when the price changed. And for those who are saying that the toilet was bought, the toilet was not bought. The receipt of 25000 I don't know if it was a receipt or a, a, quote, a quotation, but that toilet was not bought. That 17,000 shillings, they were still with it because they did not buy the toilet. Just because at least someone has known what is happening on the ground, it makes someone so angry like he wants to die. 
but he won't die. He will not die. He will never die. <laughs> He's still here on the streets entertaining. Okay? See, people take this YouTube stuff too personal as if it's happening in their homes. I don't take this stuff personal. I have my own personal life to live. People have been writing to me, they, 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 they feel like, you know, as if they're pitying me. For what? I know my truth. I've come out here and I've talked about it. And in fact, I'm ready to release more. The more they don't come out to talk about this issue, I will release more. Because more people have complained about different issues. See, this one was just toilet. This one was just toilet. There are other issues. In fact, let me ask. There were some chicken that were supposed to be bought. And then something happened them at the market. They said that all the chicken in the market are sick. All the chicken in, 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 in Isebania. Isebania as a whole. Isebania is a town that is separated in, in two. Isebania, Kenya. Isebania, Tanzania. Isebania, Tanzania is called Sirare. Isebania, Kenya is called Isebania. So all these markets, there was no chicken. All of them, they were sick. Until now, those chickens have not been bought and the money was donated. I, I'm still coming. I'm still coming. I'm still I have a lot. I'm, I'm just giving you a hint of a few things. There are a few things and even some emails. I'm still pleading with my people who brought these complaints. I'm still pleading to them to allow me to bring out all this evidence to you. But if they don't allow me, I will keep it like this. I will just talk, but I won't give it because if anything happens, I have the receipts. I don't care. Guys, I told you yesterday, me, I'm not shakeable. You can't just come out here and you start, you know, like threatening me and stuff and, and telling me what to do. You cannot tell me what to do. You're not the one who created this channel for me. You're not the one who's been teaching me to do all the reactions that I've been doing. You're not the one who helps me to direct and, you know, pull everything that I pull on YouTube all the time. So now you come out here and tell, and tell me, don't bring another video. You go back and, and, and talk to Uncle Mo. Talk about him. About what exactly? Talk about him. About what exactly? I know what I said. And I stand by it. And I don't fight. I'm not here to fight anyone. I'm not fighting Uncle Mo. I'm not fighting David Jr. I'm just coming with my issue. I'm addressing this issue so that they can come out and address their own issues. And then you people will judge from that. Whatever judgment will come from it, it's not my problem as well. For me, I stand with my truth. And it's my truth. Whether you like it or not, that is my truth. It is the truth. See, when people complain, people complain. And we as reactors, we are here always talking about accountability, accountability and transparency. So someone cannot complain to me about this kind of thing and then I keep quiet. I can't keep quiet because so many people are also suffering. And as I've told you, I reacted because this was not the first email that I got. I have many of them and many messages. Now, for those who've been like threatening, oh, I will subscribe, I will unsubscribe. I don't have a problem with subscribing or unsub unsubscribing. See, me, I stand with my truth. That is it. I, you know, you cannot threaten me to come out and say something that you, you want to, to hear. No, that's not how I work. I come out here and I say things the way they are. The other day I was telling you people, don't confuse gossip and reaction. Reaction is reaction because you have the receipts and everything has been put out, out here. Gossip is like you're talking about something you're not even sure of. And many people have confused that. Coming to here to tell me, hey, you are gossiping, oh, this family, oh, this family. Now you are done with Marwa. Now you want to start with David Jr. <laughs> See, you're putting too many ideas in my head. You know, I, I thank you people because you're also clever. 
you are putting too much ideas in my head. You think I'm done with Marwa? I'm not done with anyone. So long as anything will be pulled out here, I'll be here talking about it. And it's not that I don't know where David Jr. is. I've seen his video in the salon right uh, the day before yesterday. He was in Nairobi making his hair. You know, plating those dreadlocks. He's now having very long dreadlocks. Longer than the ones that Marwa has. He has really shaved his head and everything. And now he's having... For those who don't know where, where David Jr. is and how he's looking right now, that is how he's looking right now. This is how he's looking right now. I know he's been in Nairobi and he's doing all these things. And that's why he's quiet. He's not talking about this. He is just sending Angomo to come here and start overreacting on something that he has not even listened to. Angomo now is reacting out of anger, even making some of the people who have been donating to him to fear him. People even now fear him. They're like, hey, just because this thing has been realized, is it the reason why you should, you know, pull too much anger on the streets like this? Now people even, some people have feared him because you see, when you are here sometimes, it's good to also accept people's opinions. People in Yabahonze always feel like as if when you talk about them, it's as if you want to go and kill them. <laughs> I've heard also Mayugno complaining in his video that there are some people, they are talking about me, they are, they are abusing me. I said, who is abusing Mayugno? I've not had anyone on this street abusing Mayugno. There's been an issue of him and Mapopo at the police station on the Tanzanian side. They came out and they said that some story about how they were harassed there. Then people came out saying it's not the truth. Many reactors have been talking about this thing. Maybe it's not the, the truth. Show us the, 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 the police warrant. Show us at least any evidence to show that it's true what you're saying. These are the things that uh, you know reactors are talking about. But you see, when you talk about these people, they will feel like now you want to kill them the next day. And this is the fear that was instilled in Uncle Mo the other day. Oh, you see, someone has come to talk about you. Oh, Uncle Mo will never have breakfast. Uncle Mo is not eating anything. Uncle Mo is running up and down. Uncle Mo is... I looked at this man. I said, wow. I am sitting here watching him. And he thinks that I'm coming there to kill him. <laughs> the same thing with Marwa. In the U.S., Ivan is asking him, Marwa, the reactors are saying this, this, this. Marwa is like, no, those are haters, those are haters. See, reactors are talking about something. Can you address this thing once and for all? Thank God, Uncle Mo is even cleverer than all of them. Uncle Mo came out, at least. He came out and he reacted to what was said. And this is the same thing that these people are lacking. People are telling Mayuguno, please show us ABCD. We want to know that what you're saying is truth. And Mayuguno is out here saying that, oh, they are abusing me. They are ab Who is abusing you? Why do you think that people are out here to kill you people? People are just telling you to do things the right way. It's so simple. I came out here and I was like, Devi, stop doing this to Uncle Mo. Period. Try to do things the right way. And that is the message out here. That is the message. You know, you don't need to complicate things. If a reactor is coming out here to talk about something, capture what this person is saying and react on it. It's so simple. Why would you turn it upside down and you start saying, ah, they are haters, oh, they are jealousy, oh. No one is jealousy. No one is hating anyone here. See, doing reaction video is just the same as vlogging. It's content on its own. I come on the streets of YouTube, I search for the content, I do my own research, I sit down here, I do my content. Then someone on the other side will be feeling like, now I want to kill him. <laughs> I don't have any intentions of doing that. You know, it's so weird. It's so crazy. 
I come out with this reaction and Uncle Mo wants to die. The man is like, ah, he's not eating. You see, when that lady said that, Uncle Mo, come to the shop. When you come to the shop, call me. Video call me. Uncle Mo did not video call this lady. But when I've come out with this reaction, Uncle Mo was video calling. Uncle Mo was on live. The, all that network that he was saying that network is not here. Network, the network came back. And I've left, I've left that comment somewhere and people came for me and I was like, I will repeat it also in my video. When the network was not found, on that particular day, network was not found. But after my reaction, network came back. Uncle Mo was doing videos and videos and live videos, long live videos from the village to the shops. Uncle Mo was doing live videos. Now network came back. You see what I'm saying, guys? It was just a simple thing. People are telling me I would have gone to Uncle Mo to ask him to, how can I go to Uncle Mo? I'm a reactor. I come out here and say the truth. If it's not the truth, he come out here and say, no, it's not the truth. Simple. I did not want to personalize this issue. So I could have not called him to personalize it there. And then I keep quiet, knowing that there are other people who have also complained. So I have to come out here and expose this thing so that this thing must stop. There are so many people who have complained about the same, 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 same issues. I had to come out here and this thing has to stop. And in fact, it has stopped. People who want to genuinely donate to Uncle Mo, do so. Talk to Uncle Mo. Donate to him. Help him. I have no problem about that. I really don't have any problem about that. But there should be accountability, transparency, and communication. Very important. Because on this other particular issue, the problem was communication. When someone is calling you to tell you, let's do this, let's do this. Communicate with the person. Why are you dodging not to communicate with this person? He's telling you, video call me. And this person is helping you, sending you a lot of money. And you just leave a, a voice note. The person feels very disrespected. Out of that 17,000, they could have not gotten small uh, data to call her out of all that money. You see? And then you'll be coming out here to tell me, oh, you are hating these people, you are tarnishing their names. There are other people also who have complained in the comment section. I saw complaints there. That someone has been sending money even for that wall that has been constructed along uh, around Uncle Mo's compound. Someone donated money for that wall. But the moment that money reached, they did not recognize that person. You see, there are other people when they, they donate, at least they want some shout out. They want to be recognized. They, they want even to be, you know, to be thanked, at least. Even just say, oh, I received that money that you sent. Thank you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. They have been complaining, even on the comment section. You send the money, the money is taken and it's over. Forget, they, they forget, you know, like as if you are supposed to be sending they are now entitled. You are supposed to be sending the money all the time. So, send. You don't need to be told thank you. You know? And this is not how it works. It's good when someone helps you, you come back and tell the person, thank you, I got the money. And let that person tell you, I sent that money because I wanted that money, you know, for the chicken or for the walls or for the toilet or whatever it is. I say thank you, at least. This is for helping you. But what happened? So I had to come out because there are a lot of things. And I'll be coming out releasing them. I'm just waiting for my people to give me permission to expose these receipts that I've been getting, all the emails and all the messages that I've been getting. I'm still actually begging them to allow me to release all this information all the receipts, 
all the evidence. But before then, I will keep talking about it. In case of anything, I have my evidence with me. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not stupid. And no one is going to start asking for anyone for any forgiveness here. If you want to donate to these people, keep donating to them. If you want to send them stuff, keep sending to them. I don't have any problem. I don't hate or have jealousy for anyone. I'm just coming out here to pull the truth out here so that people might know the truth. And this truth, actually, it helped a lot of people who are keeping quiet, people who are having doubts, people who are like, you know, not, who did not know how to express themselves because of some things that have been happened. This video has exposed a lot and it's still exposing. So for those who are telling me, come and say, and come and ask whoever for forgiveness, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And I don't hate anyone. I have my life. And I'm very, very contented. And stop comparing my property, which you really even don't know about, with what people are exposing out there. I've not even exposed my own. I've not even started exposing my own and I don't even intend to, to do that. So you don't start exposing my small space with what people have and yet you don't know what I have. Because my life is not about exposing everything that I have. I haven't even exposed my family out here. I've not even exposed my precious, precious things that I've, I value out here. I've not, you know, I've not even shown anything. So you can't compare anything from my side on the other side because I don't live in a village and I don't even intend to. Let's meet on the next one.